Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Samantha and this is Samantha's Doodles. In this video, I will be showing you how I made this opal inspired holographic resin geode painting. So if you'd like to see how it was made, keep watching. First and foremost, make sure you have all your materials and safety items with you before you get started on painting. Um, it's really important that you have that ready to go so that you're not in the middle of pouring your piece and looking for certain items. I will list everything in the description box below and make sure you read your manufacturer's um, instructions for how to use your resin safely and correctly. Make sure that you prepare your wood, um, whether it's with a primer or something. I used a panel that I had poured previously and wasn't thrilled with, um, so you'll be able to see that kind of tan gold color underneath once we get into the video. So you'll want to follow the instructions for how long you have to mix your two parts for your resin, um, but once that is done, you want to separate it into four cups. So what I did is I kept one clear, I did one with the um, purple, one with silver, and one that I just added the white glitter. So make sure that's all mixed together and set it aside ready to go. So once you have everything ready and your board is level, you can go ahead and start pouring. I started with my purple mixture. Um, it's just resin with a little bit of purple acrylic paint and some metal flake in the color purple haze. From there, I am adding purple vase filler um, stones, I guess is a good thing to call them, and just kind of pushing them in to outline that ring and really define the center, the focal point of the painting. The resin is going to hold those in place, um, so when I pour the next ring around it, it'll catch any of those stones that I hadn't pushed all the way into that purple. So for the next ring, I'm going to mix my um, gray silver mixture, and I'm going to just kind of pour that around where those stones were laid in another circle, and um, that is my second ring. And then here I'm just adding a couple more of those purple stones um, just because a few of them had sunk down into the resin and I wanted them to be visible. So from there I'm adding a clear ring around that silver and I'm going to be placing my holographic plastic pieces in this ring. So this is my first time working with them, so you can see I'm a little bit messy, um, but the good thing about this is that once you put them in that clear resin, it will hold them in place. Um, so I'm just kind of scooching them into where that ring was poured um, and then just pulling more and layering them until I'm happy with how they are falling. So you can't really see all of the holographic, um, like the opal inspired colors at this angle. It just looks like clear plastic. But once um, the piece is finished, I will show you some photos of how cool that looks in the sunlight. And it is amazing. So next I'm taking my purple and just putting a second ring around where I just put those holographic pieces. Um, the purple is absolutely stunning in person. I just love the way this color mixed up um, with the metal flake. It has so much glitter and shine in it and it's really just a beautiful, royal, brilliant purple. So after that I'm going to take some of my resin that I've mixed with the white glitter and I'm going to pour that on top of the opal pieces. Um, this is just to give it a little bit of extra dimension and I wanted to do it after the purple ring because this way if it expands a little bit it will mix into that purple instead of just you know spreading out that circle with the clear being pushed out. So it's just adding a little extra shine. You can't really see too well just from the angle of this video um, but it's really beautiful. And from there, I'm just going back with another one of those steel gray silver rings and just outlining that circular shape. And I'm going to repeat this action um, with different colors until the whole wood panel is covered. So here, just tilting it a little bit to spread that out. Um, and then I'm going to go in with my white. And so this is, um, it's got glitter in it and it's got a little bit of white pigment. And I'm a little messy, but um, it, <laughs> the resin just mixes together as it dries, so I don't really see too much of a problem because um, I like the way that the colors blend together. If you don't like that, you can let your resin sit and kind of just um, 
thicken up a little bit before you start pouring but for the look of this piece that's not what I was going for so I'm okay with the colors blending together and so this is going to be my final ring it's a silver that kind of gunmetal color and um, that also has the metal flake in it which is beautiful I will link those in the description box if you haven't used them before and you're looking for a step up from just the glitter it is wonderful and I highly recommend it um, and then I'm placing some of those holographic plastics pieces right on top of that silver just to give it a little more depth than before where it was just over top of the clear. Um, the cool thing about pouring on top of a piece I had done previously is that the clear will show a little bit of that gold underneath it. So that adds some depth to the piece that it wouldn't have if I had just poured clear on top of a regular primed painting canvas. Um, and so from there, I'm just going to go around and add a few more embellishments um, just to make sure that there's a lot of texture and depth to the piece. Um, this was my first time working with these materials, so it's an experiment, really, and um, I have to say I'm really pleased with how it turned out. So the reason that I had the clear resin set aside is because I poured that over top to hold those holographic pieces in. And then I poured in more of my purple stones to the center just to give it a little extra something to make it pop. And then I'm just going to add a tiny bit. I just added in um, some purple glitter to what I had mixed in my white glitter mixture. Um, and then I'm pouring that on top of those stones, again, for a little bit of depth and texture and to give it some extra shine. And, you know, like I said, it's just an experiment and I, I love the color, so I might as well add it in to that white area as well to add a little extra pop. And then the last thing is I just added another circle of white on top of where that gray and clear resin met. So then you just go over with the heat gun and you let it sit um, to cure for this resin. It takes 72 hours to be hard to the touch completely. Um, and then once that was done curing, I went in with my Posca paint pens and I used just purple on this piece um, to go around the areas that I thought could use a little bit of extra definition. Um, so what I mean with that is I'd go around like where the purple met the silver and outline that whole purple section. Um, I think I I did it around some of the, the white areas as well. So you can see where those purple areas are. They all have that defined purple marker edge. Um, I know some people don't love that look, but I think it's striking and adds something to the piece. Um, so it's just personal preference that I really like to add that. I didn't do any other colors for this piece because I thought the holographic elements really stood out with everything else being almost monochromatic. Um, but, you know, on your own pieces, use whatever colors seem to fit for you. So here is the piece. Um, this was a rainy day. I took it in, but you can really see the blue elements in that holographic. I think it's just so stunning, and I love the way it turned out. And then here it is on a sunny day outside. You can see there's some yellows and pinks mixed into the holographic as well. Um, so that is this piece, how I made it. Thank you so much for watching, and I would love to see if you make a piece of your own. Please tag me on Instagram or send me a message. I'd love to hear from you. You can find me as at Samantha's Doodles on Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest, and my Etsy shop is um, Sam's Little Shop. So leave a comment, like, and subscribe, and I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you.